Turn my office on. Setting office light to on. Turn my kitchen on and my fan to high. Setting kitchen can lights to on. Living room fan motor to high. Turn my office off, kitchen off, fan low, and arm my home. Setting kitchen can lights to off, my home to arm, office light to off, living room fan motor to low. Disarm. Setting all areas to disarm. Hi everyone. I'm Wes Filament, creator of MobileLink, and I'd like to walk through our new MobileLink voice control plugin feature. The voice control plugin is available for MobileLink HD, MobileLink Pro, and orchestrated MobileLink. To purchase the plugin, go to My Plugins and select the voice control plugin. After purchase, several new voice options are available under My Settings and under your individual devices, scenes, and programs. Pick a device, scene, or program you want to vocally call and go to the advanced options of that item. Scroll down to the bottom to set the vocal name. Let's walk through the new voice settings. The top row will turn the microphone on and off. If you're on an iPhone, slide the screen to the right and tap the microphone at the top of the shortcut page. For behaviors, we've got several configurable options. Chime confirmation plays the chime noise when MobileLink successfully processes a voice command. Pop-up confirmation displays a temporary pop-up notification in MobileLink when MobileLink successfully processes a voice command. Voice confirmation uses text-to-speech to speak back the confirmed command. iOS notification tells MobileLink to issue a local notification on each successfully processed command. This can be used as a history of what voice commands were accepted by MobileLink. Let me show you what that looks like. The listen and background option tells MobileLink to keep the mic on and continually listen for vocal commands when MobileLink isn't the active app. I'm going to demonstrate this with the next setting, Voice Prompt. Voice Prompt is a word or phrase you can set that tells MobileLink to ignore all speech until it hears your custom voice prompt. Then, MobileLink will wake up the voice engine to process incoming commands. MobileLink will listen for commands until about 20 seconds of dead air or non-commands are spoken, and then it will go back to waiting for the vocal prompt. This is a good option to turn on if you plan on doing long-term voice recognition so that MobileLink ignores all background speech until properly addressed. So for the example here, we'll set the voice prompt to MobileLink and turn on the microphone. So now if I say office, the voice engine won't do anything until it hears the proper voice prompt. So let's exit out and show how this works. MobileLink, turn my office on. Setting office light to on. Let's go ahead and put the iPad to sleep. MobileLink, turn my office off. Setting office light to off. The next set of options are specific to the Elk plugin for MobileLink. If the Elk plugin is present, you have the options to include your alarm areas and outputs for vocal command. Keep in mind that the outputs must have a unique name and cannot be named output followed by a number 
in order to be vocally called. The last option here is to ignore prompt for code. What this does is if you have the security option on to prompt for a code prior to issuing an alarm command, this will override that option so you can vocally call out commands without having to enter in a code. So let me show you where that is. Under security controller, prompt for security code is on. So if we go back to our security interface and you try to arm it, it's going to prompt you for the code. If the ignore prompt for code is on, like we have here, then we can issue security commands directly with our voice without being asked for the code. Some users may want to turn that on or off. It depends on your installation. The next section details out all the devices, scenes, programs, and security events that are voice sensitive. Tap any one of these to show examples of phrases to use. And finally, the last section gives you a quick way to reset the voice names of all devices, scenes, and programs in one tap. We won't do it here, but this is how you would reset it. I hope you found this walkthrough useful and enjoy using MobileLink and the new voice control feature. Thanks.